Hey guys, I'm Jeff. Welcome to Colorado 4x4. We bought a rooftop tent and I need some place to store it. So I'm going to do a little video here to show you guys uh, what I did and <clears throat> using the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh winch. Um, so yeah, on to the video. There's our tent. It's a free spirit recreation high country 80 inch premium. Um, We've only used it for one night and we enjoyed it. We loved it. Uh, I don't love the fact that it's on the Jeep. Um, definitely for the winter time, it's gotta come off and uh, we'll probably leave it on there most of the summer. We're excited to have it and do a bunch more wheeling and more camping and stuff like that. Um, but in my small garage, you can see there's not much room. Um, so we're going to put a hoist system above the garage there so I can easily take it off when not in use. So I looked at, uh, the Harkin hoister and the Raccoor hoister and those look like good units. Uh, but for a hundred bucks, I figured I'd try this Harbor Freight winch. It's, it, it has a ton of good reviews on, Am on uh, Amazon and um, on Harbor Freight. And I've seen some other videos out there and they look great, so I figured I'd give it a shot. The, the Raccoor Hoister, I think is 250, 250 bucks. And the uh, Harkin Hoister is like 200 bucks. So for 100 bucks, having an electric winch mounted to the, the ceiling of the garage here, I think it'll be good. Um, so I'm gonna, Pull the Jeep in now and just kind of measure where we want it to go and mark a spot in the ceiling for those joists. You can see our uh, ceiling's not, our garage isn't finished, it's drywall but not finished so it'll be easy to, to, to get that thing mounted up there. I uh, picked up some inch and five eighths Unistrut from Lowe's and um, I'll cut it to length, probably span maybe three joists. Uh, but I wanna make sure that I get this thing in the right spot. It's so pretty much lined up here with the garage is about as far as I pull in. The garage door is going to need to be closed when I do this. I, I, I thought that I could back in and maybe put it up here, but uh, just to keep it out of harm's way with me and anyone else, and especially the kids over in that area, uh, if it were to fall, it would hurt somebody who weighs like 180 pounds or something like that. So, um, so I'm going to have to do with the garage door closed. I think it'll be fine. and. And if it does fall when the garage door is open, we'll see what the garage door can hold. <laughs> okay, so I marked the center, center area of the tent. Now I'm just gonna hang an extension cord kind of as a plumb bob from the ceiling to mark an X where I'm gonna mount the winch. I've got my Unistrut or Super Strut here from Home Depot. And I cut it to 50 inches in length. And uh, I've got my 3 8 by 3 inch lag bolts in there. And I'm just gonna mark the rest of these uh, holes. A stud down here, or it's two more, I guess. And then, uh, and then this stud here. And then we should be good to go. That one's marked. So. And of course the winch is showing up here in a little while via FedEx. So I'll slip those, uh, slip the brackets on top here. Make sure I've got room to slide it on. And then I'll fasten it all up and put the winch on.
All right, so I'm kind of baffled here a little bit with how to hang this tent and support it. So, um, so my concern is how do I support this? I don't, I don't really want to build a new frame for it. I want to be able to just strap it onto that thing and hoist it up. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is, is these cross rails, ski rack cross rails are already on there. Um, so I think what my plan is to just disconnect them here quickly and then um, and then I'm going to run a strap uh, around this part of the rail and I'll do it for all six or at least four. plugged up here. Luckily the cord was long enough to reach the outlet for the garage door opener, so I ended up using an extension cord. So that's pretty rad. Pretty slick. Get this rubber band off. Move the old uh, Move the ladder out of the way and we'll do a weight test. Works pretty good. All right, now for the test to see if the garage door clears it. It's going to be close, but I think it's going to work. Everything looks pretty good. I added a couple anchor points up there on those studs and I'm just going to run ratchet straps around the bottom of it. And mind you, this is for winter storage pretty much. The, the tent will stay on, on the Jeep for pretty much all summer. I don't see why to take it off, but um, yeah, I'll show you how it, how it works, bring it down to the ground.
Okay, the final product. So all the weight of the tent is actually on those ratchet straps now. Um, like I was saying earlier, that my concern was having the the green straps dig into the the sides and the tops of the tent. Didn't really want that. Um, so these these straps are actually holding all the weight. It's pretty well centered and as level as I can get it. And now that now that I think about it today, I should have just I shouldn't have spent so much time trying to get I shouldn't have spent so much time trying to get the tent actually balanced off the winch. Um, I think I'm just gonna get it as balanced as I can, raise it to the roof, and then attach the ratchet straps to, uh, to hold the weight. So. so let me know what you guys think. If you have any other thoughts or ideas or suggestions, it'd be great to hear. Um, I've seen some, some threads out there on forums and folks have you know, rigged up similar similar hoy systems with the Harkin or the Raccoor or even just pulley systems. Um, yeah, I think my biggest issue is the hoisting of it. And if you guys have any other ideas, let me know. Thanks for watching.